minutes to nine. The former Foreign Secretary Jack Straw has said that if Greek and Turkish leaders in Cyprus can't sort out their differences at talks in New York next week, then the UK should consider the partition of Cyprus. He warns that if we don't, it could seriously damage the European Union's relations with Turkey. Well, Jack Straw spoke to me earlier. I asked him if, by proposing partition, he was ignoring legitimate concerns about Turkey's 1974 invasion. No, I'm not. Uh, but there are two truths about what happened uh, in the invasion in 1974. One is the Greek Cypriot truth, uh, which has a lot of truth behind it, which is that this was an unjustified invasion. But the other is the Turkish Cypriot truth, which equally has a great deal of truth behind it, which was that the Greek Cypriot majority on the island had wholly distorted the balanced bicameral 1960 constitution to such an extent that the government of Cyprus, dominated by the Greek Cypriots, was not guaranteeing any kind of rights worth having to the Turkish Cypriot minority. So that's the position. If there can be agreement to go back to a balanced bicameral constitution, and there are some important talks coming up next week on this, then I'd be the first to cheer. But there has to be a default position here. These negotiations have been drifting on for years. We thought we'd got to a point uh, of agreement uh, six years ago. Kofi Annan, then UN Secretary General, got agreement from both the then leaders to hold referendum and recommend yes votes. The North, the Turkish North duly did that. Uh, the uh, President Papadopoulos, uh, Greek Cypriot uh, president in the South, ratted on that deal, campaigned vigorously for a no vote, got a no vote, and notwithstanding that, because of likely the Greeks saying that they would veto all other EU accessions, came into the European Union in May 2004. So they've been holding us over a barrel. Greek Cypriot Cyprus is using what is a relatively tiny dispute, so far as numbers are concerned, a crucial in terms of human uh, beings, uh, to try and stop Turkey coming into the European Union. And Turkey is being much more harshly treated in these negotiations than, for example, its neighbours, Romania and Bulgaria, ever were. What do you think the dangers of that are? Because Turkey has, it's been a long, for a long time there's been talk about Turkey joining the EU. It has been put off. We have this situation. Even if this is resolved in some way, do you think Turkey will finally be allowed to join the European Union? Well, I hope they are. I, can't, I, I, I think that it's much more in the European Union's interest, actually, than even it is in Turkey's. But if we carry on blocking Turkey's accession negotiations, then we will, in the words of the US Defence Secretary, push Turkey towards uh, Iran uh, and the South. And one of the curiosities about this is, is this. I've said to a number of senior French uh, diplomats and government officials. What is your purpose, because they are joining with Cyprus in blocking Turkey's membership, in having this approach? And all I get when I ask this question to quite a number of uh, senior French officials, as well as, of course, to Cypriots, is a, a bemused look. Uh, Just and briefly, can I ask you, is that bemused look because, do you think, because Turkey is a Muslim country? Turkey exists. It's 98% Muslim. It is also a, a becoming an advanced industrialised country. Uh, we either uh, seek to uh, embrace its advance, or if we reject it, we'll pay the price. Jack Straw, thank you very much. 13 minutes to nine. Let's get some business.